Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting Federal's non-typical 180 grain soft point out of the 350 Legend. And before we move on, I want to point out that I've seen Federal discontinue a lot of their non-typical line lately. So if you see this load get discontinued, this is the same thing as far as I can tell as Federal PowerShock Blue Box. So if, if you don't see this stuff on the shelf, but you see the Federal Blue Box 180 grain power shock and 350 Legend, I'm 99% certain it's the exact same thing, just in a different box. And here is your box for that Federal non-typical 350 Legend load. Flip it around on the back. Here's your factory promo info. You can pause and read all that if you would like. Here is your, oh, get it to focus, your velocity and energy information. I don't see a barrel length listed here. Oh well, let's go ahead and take a look at the ammo. Per standard for Federal comes in these plastic ammo holders with belt loops. Yes, these are belt loops. Blue lacquer sealed primers. Really, well, actually this brass has a little dinginess to it. I'm so used to saying really good looking brass for Federal, I gotta catch myself when it's not, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and yank one out and take a look. It's just a classic big old soft point. We'll see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 350 Legend, of course. It's got a 16 inch barrel up top. I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my 20 round magazine cuffs. You pop that open, you got a 20 round magazine close at hand right there. Really helps turn the Ruger American Ranch into the perfect truck gun, camp gun, anything you could need it for. Coming around to the other side, I've got my whitetail deer design on this one. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. I will link it in the description and in the pinned comment. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that federal non-typical 180 grain soft point out of the 350 Legend, AKA Federal Power Shock. I'm 99% sure it's the same ammo. And I only captured one bullet and I'll explain what happened. So here it is right back here in a third block. This stuff penetrates insanely deep. We're at about 41 inches. I'm just rounding to the nearest inch here. And it looks like we got very, very minimal expansion. We did have some flattening of of the nose of the bullet but minimal expansion which no doubt is why it penetrated so deep and coming over to the first block i hope you can hear me it's a little bit windy right now it looks like we got some fairly minor uh, wound cavities in the first block it's not very explosive in there the wound cavities are fairly narrow and I think that makes a lot of sense being that this bullet right here isn't really expanded much just sort of flattened at the nose but I did make three very solid hits on the block and what happened is the one bullet traveled back just like that you can see the the travel line or I don't know what you call that wound cavity all the way back boom caught that bullet whereas the other two came in, they kind of, the paths crisscross, and then they both start to veer this way, and then they shoot out the block right here at about the 36 to 40 inch mark. They zinged off somewhere out that way. So we'll just take a look at this one bullet that we caught. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Federal non-typical, AKA Power Shock, 180 grain soft point out of the 350 Legend. Our high was 2168, our low, was 2099 and our average was 2134. And here we are looking at that single federal 180 grain soft point power shock bullet from the 350 Legend recovered out of the gel. Unfortunately, the other one zipped clean out and we couldn't recover them. So we're gonna talk about what we got. And as far as weight retention goes, we had 176 grains retained weight. That works out to 98% weight retention. 
No real surprise there. We didn't get a ton of expansion. It's a heavy bullet. It's going to hold together. And then as far as expansion goes, we got a little bit of expansion, but not a whole heck of a lot. The expanded diameter of this bullet was exactly half an inch, 0.5 inches, which works out to 1.4x expansion. And that is on the lower end of what we're going to see for 350 Legend. And then on to velocity, our high was 2168, our low was 2099 for an average of 2134 versus the factory build velocity of 2100 feet per second. So this load is cooking right along and I could tell with the recoil, this thing was hot. We came in 34 feet per second fast on average. So if nothing else, this particular load was loaded to the gills. And then on the penetration, and if that's what you're looking for, this is the load to get because this recovered bullet was all the way out at 41 inches, extremely deep penetration. Now the other two bullets I could tell penetrated at least 36 inches plus and 40 inches plus respectively from where they zipped out of the gel blocks. So our average penetration is somewhere around 40 inches plus. So if you're looking for a 350 legend load that's going to penetrate and expand at least a little bit and be loaded pretty hot, man, this, this one is the ticket. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts for that Federal 180 grain soft point load out of the 350 legend. And unfortunately, I only managed to capture one bullet and we'll talk about why here in a second. So we'll go ahead and jump into it. Weight retention was extremely good 98% we're starting out with a real heavy 180 grain bullet that's real heavy for the 350 legend most of your 350 legend loads are in the 150 to 180 grain range this is at the top of that and we retained 98% of that weight so really good expansion wise we didn't get a whole bunch of expansion we wound up with 1.4x expansion now with a 350 Legend, you're starting with a 35 caliber bullet. You don't need a ton of expansion to make it a whole lot bigger, but gosh, 1.4X is really on the lower end of what I've seen with 350 Legend hunting loads, so I'm a little bit disappointed. And now on to velocity, it did really, really good. We actually came in 34 feet per second faster than the factory spec, and that's something we'll see with several other 350 Legend loads. This stuff is loaded hot. And I'm always happy when we even, you know, approach the factory spec, much less exceed it. So this was really cool to see. And then penetration. This is really where this load shines because this stuff just hits and keeps on going. No doubt due to its high velocity for what it is and the somewhat lack of expansion. It's just going to keep on punching through. There's not a whole ton of surface area. It doesn't expand a whole bunch. So it's just going to keep on going. The one bullet that we did recover was at 41 inches. That's kind of insane. The other two zipped out at 36 inches somewhere and 40 plus inches somewhere. They zipped out of the blocks. So it's safe to say on average, we're going to be seeing probably a 40 plus inch penetration depth with this particular load. Man, if you need an ammo that's just going to punch on through and keep on going in 350 Legend, this might be the stuff. And then on to kinetic energy. So with 180 grain bullet going 2,134 feet per second on average, that's what I measured, we're looking at 1,820 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. That is really, really good for 350 Legend hunting loads. Most of your 350 Legend hunting loads are in the 1,500 to 1,700 foot-pound range. We're quite a bit over that, so I'm really pleased. This stuff is going to hit, and it might not expand a whole lot, but by golly, it's going to hit hard. So what would I use this particular load for? Well, based off the results here, if you go back a few videos, I did a review of the Winchester Super X 100. 180 grain PowerPoint load in 350 Legend. Very, very similar, except across the board, that load performed, in, in my estimation at least, a little bit better in real world scenarios. We didn't get quite the insane level of penetration, but we still got extremely deep penetration. That load averaged 33 inches. I don't need 40 plus inches of penetration with a 350 Legend. I'd prefer to expand a little bit more and penetrate a little bit less. This stuff just keeps on going. For me, personally, just my opinion, I think this is, I don't know, 
what you might call it, a little bit much with a little bit less on the expansion side. I think there's probably better options. Now, I wish I could have recovered the other bullets to see what they did, but based on how deep they penetrated, I'm going to go ahead and estimate they didn't expand too much either. So it is what it is. Personally, I don't think I'm going to be using it, but if you've used this particular load on game, let me and everybody else know how it did. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.